Here we are at day three in the Midsummer Streamathon, which is sponsored by Art Curious. The schedule for today is drawing, cartoon, comics, etc. To introduce myself to Ocros Mixed Media, my name is Peg. I wanted to get started, and I the first thing I want to do is prepare myself a substrate to draw on. And my first thought process was this is a great opportunity for me to get rid of some of these toilet paper rolls that I've been saving. So I am flattening them out and securing that seam or making that seam more profound with my bone folder. And then I want to press them. But here was my original thought for this. And it's not how this project ends up, so stick with me through the end so you can see what I actually wind up doing. But my original thought was to illustrate and draw on both sides of the toilet paper roll and create this flip through that is on a ring and you can just kind of flip through. So that's the original thought. It's not where we end up. But first, let's iron them all down and get them prepared and get them ready to receive some gesso for the for the initial substrate, if you will. I am putting a little uh, sprinkle of water on them and that just helps me flatten them out. And I have also disinfected them. I sprayed them all with some Lysol. When I store them, I originally put them all together, spray them all, fume them all <coughs> with some Lysol just to make sure that it's a sanitary item to work with. And now I am gluing down any little area that might be sticking up. And now that I have them all together, you know, I've got a good, good number of them, I'm going to pull out some white gesso and just coat each of them with the white gesso. Once that has dried, I am going to pull out a couple of stencils. This particular stencil has six, nine different um, patterns. It is kind of set up for artist trading cards, I believe. And I just want to do some tone on tone, maybe a little relief, a little uh, texture, utilizing nothing more than the gesso. I don't want to get texture paste on here, but I do want... A little more interest so I'm going tone on tone with gesso in my background with not only this stencil but I have another stencil that I'm going to pull out and use as well. Now I'm going to let all of these dry and you know one of two things you can let them dry naturally you can dry them with a hair dryer a heat gun whatever whatever you choose but I'm going to get them to that point of being completely and totally dry and then we'll continue to work with them. I want to pull out some vintage or some distress oxide sprays 
And there are several colors that I've chosen to use. One is a china blue, one is a mustard yellow color. I think it's called mustard seed, and the other is vintage photo. So I just, at this point, want to get some color laid down on top of the gesso, on top of the gesso relief, if you will, and just create that background. So that's, that's all I'm doing at this particular point, is trying to create a background on which I can work and hopefully create something of interest. So let's get to spraying and get these all, um, you know, more interesting than, than just a plain white gesso. Fair enough? And what you see me using in that pink uh, spray bottle is just simply water. Now these don't look like much now, but while they're still wet, I think I'll pull out the stencils once again and maybe do some reduction or some removal of some of the ink or just, you know, kind of patting those designs into place in that wet distress oxide ink. Those are starting to look pretty good. And we'll let those dry. And flip them over and do the same thing on the back. So, you know, kind of got sliding through this pretty fast because it's just a repeat process of exactly what we did on the front but i want there to be um, the capability for me to create a design on both the front and the back of these toilet paper rolls because as i told you my original plan was to do a, a flip through or to put all of these on a ring binder or you know one of those little key ring type things and be able to flip through them and take a look at them and and go face by face one of the things that i am going to be doing on this is illustrating some wonky faces and i draw these a lot um, i did take a class by deb weirs who i feel was the creator of the wonky face and i've taken a couple of her classes um, not nearly as good as Deb, of course, but I am learning and I am trying and I'm trying to put these together. And I felt like if I had this ring binder, it would remind me of some of the techniques and some of the things that I have learned from her, or some of the lips, some of the eyes, some of the noses, um, etc. So I thought this is, would just be a great place to illustrate a bunch of them. So to kind of define the area where I'm going to put the, the face, I'm coming back on these toilet paper rolls and I am hitting it with gesso. And that gesso is going to be the area where once it dries, I'm going to come in and I'm going to illustrate my wonky face. Okay, so now we're ready. 
and I'm just going to turn a little music on. I'm going to illustrate my little face and then I will share with you in the images what I actually wind up doing. And I'll tell you, the reason why I didn't go with my original plan is I wanted this video ready for uh, Miriam's Streamathon and I ran out of time. So I came up with a way to use two of them that will work in a journal and then I will continue on with the rest of them as time allows and we'll eventually have that three ring my, that three ring uh, faces that I originally set out to do. But for the meantime, let's just draw a couple of faces and I'll see you at the end.
just all in my Without thinking twice And I knew it would catch up And that we would be the ones Left behind The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind Ooh, And this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some
grew up and somehow made it through without losing sight. And I still wonder where you are and if you found a way out from the dark. The stories I've been told. Never seem to leave my mind. Mm, on this road that I am on, I gotta stay here for some time.
So this is where we ended up. I wound up doing a couple of tags to put inside the toilet paper tube of the illustration, tied the denim at the bottom, tied the denim on the tag, and this can now be glued down into one of my journals. And I'll do the other project later when I have a little bit more time. But thank you for joining me for the Midsummer Streamathon that's sponsored by Art Curious by M and Dum. W. A lot of creatives are putting a lot of their time into this and I hope you've had the opportunity to support them on their lives or support them in the videos format like you have for me. Thank you very much and I will say bye for now.